I have woken up on a deliciously grey and murky day at Lalande, the sort of day for spending the morning in bed with a pain au chocolat and a cup of tea. I think I'll start my morning with a briefing to find out exactly what is going on in the garden. I could get up for that, or I could do it the easier way. Watching Dan's vlog in bed should just about let me know what's going on in the house. Well, the rain stopped. We're making good progress. We're getting the last of the hedging plants in. Today's looking good. Today is looking good. Good to hear. Love it when the morning briefing goes well. But even in this miserable weather, there is something wonderful to show you. The leaves have come out on the trees. They're making me ridiculously happy. They've been out for a few days now and every day they get so much bigger. And you might notice that in the background, we have gained two gigantic piles of earth. Now, it may not seem like it, but these piles of earth are something to get very, very excited about. No, bear with me, honestly, they're, they're super exciting. No, it's not the attack of the giant moles, though anyone who's seen the mole hills at Lalande would probably not be surprised by that. It's the soil for the planting of the new Jardin à l'Anglaise, because yesterday a lot of very exciting deliveries arrived. Wow, what has just arrived outside? Oh, I have to go and have a look. Could it be plants that Davies ordered? Or could it be the compost? Plants. It's the plants. Are you serious? <laughs> no, I had no idea. I thought maybe it was the corner thing, but I'm expecting that tomorrow. <laughs> You meant, yay! Yeah. Is that what you meant? I thought it was a compost, and I was like, a bit of a weird truck for the compost. Yeah. And then the plants. So this is 1,200 plants on a day that we're I, not anticipating them. Yeah. I didn't on. ideally want them to come today, if I'm going to be honest. There's a lot going on. <laughs> and suddenly, Lelan, just like that, becomes a garden centre. I'll be honest, Kirsty, I'm not convinced that wheelbarrow is going to cut it. Oh, me neither. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Chateau Dillard Garden Centre. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> Dan's starting a new job outside the gate of the chateau. Just a couple then. One or two. Is that all of them now? Or... <laughs> I'm going to take some cuttings. <laughs> Just making a list of what I'm going to rub. There's a long, <laughs> lot of choice here. <laughs> So we've got a German wagon with Belgian plates with a Dutch tail lift delivering Mediterranean plants with a Romanian driver. With a Romanian driver. It's a very international day at Lalande today. <laughs> the world is pulling together for your, your planting scheme. I love it. Green van to the rescue. Oh, this is good. Just exactly what we want to add to the mix of the uh, already mounting task. <laughs> but you know Davey's coming to help plant. No, he said he's coming to plant them. To help plant them. No, well. he said he's coming to plant them. This is as far as I go now. You're going together for the long journey? Yeah. I would be for my horns if it were. I love the fact that Van is totally camouflaged in the woods. So this is a nice shady spot. Yeah. Perfect. Welcome plants. What a day. First the plants and now the compost. I've got articulated. Uh, no way. They're so clever. So he sends them back separately so it's not enough to shift it. And then shifts the whole lot forward. I'm so yeah. glad it's loose. Oh my god. You didn't want to open all those bags. No, not all we just moved as well. I know. Oh. What a day. So do they load uh, in through the roof? Whoa, because there's oh, no I'm roof on it, Dan. Nothing about this van makes sense. <laughs> They're going to be so happy, those plants. And much, much more importantly, Davey's going to be really happy because he arrives today. Yes. And we would have failed. So I've got his spade ready <laughs> um, and the wheelbarrow, so. He should be fine. He'll be fine, yeah. Yeah. He'll be fine. He'll be busy. <laughs> I think this is the best lorry I've seen in my life. I just, I've got such a new appreciation for We are for buying the wrong stuff here. Oh, don't you dare. You made me buy yes. all the stuff that I bought and now you're like... I'm just saying, I didn't lorry. know stuff like this existed. <laughs> we need to be looking 
What you want me to buy a piece of equipment that doesn't fit into the Chateau grounds. <laughs> Best compost ever. <laughs> I could have done it myself, Dan, honestly. You're amazing. The enthusiasm you have for that compost. I know. Yeah. It is dwindling now. Yeah, well, it did take quite a long time for the brilliant lorry to discharge its load. It wasn't quick. It was good, but not quick. It was very peaceful. It was a very peaceful, calming moment in our day. Watching it arrive one cubic inch at a time. The peace of the Pont Chocolat has been shattered. Everyone on our garden group chat was saying, oh, well, you know, it's raining. It's not the day to plant. And Dan suddenly said, Come on, guys, it's just a bit of rain. And then sent the text and I quote it directly. We can do it. Hashtag Team Lalande. Not a hint of sarcasm in the message. And any of you who watch him on his channel, Escape to Rural France, will know that that is very unusual. So there's one of two options. A, someone has stolen Dan's phone and is pretending to be Dan. B, he seriously needs us out there today. and He's digging deep. So yes, it is a day for the boiler suit. Whilst we're at it, let's go crazy. I'll even tie my hair back. I mean business. Who are you and what have you done with Dan? Why? <laughs> so cheerful. Hashtag Team Lalande. It's a beautiful day. <laughs> Love plants. You really scare me. <laughs> he got to clear a pathway with a big machine, so. Oh, right, so he yeah. was in a good mood. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Right, ready? Born ready. Looking very yellow. Accessories obviously very important, whatever you're doing. They look very clean. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm. It's I'll almost as if they're for show. <laughs> well, set off the outfit absolutely Ooh. perfectly. Oh, not actually, yellow. Because Dan told me that I'd get something called mud on my hands. Yes. He said it's the stuff you get under your slippers when you go outside. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So this will not produce <laughs> Thank you. Kirsty so has nice. Lewis helping today. Hi, Lewis. Right. Hi. Um, oh, what is happening? So what? I'm warming my feet up. Is this a thing? Oh, so this is nice. <laughs> oh, that is actually really pleasant. That is really nice. I never thought I'd be putting my feet into compost for comfort. <laughs> What's happening? Good. Today? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We're, we've we changed. broken. <laughs> You're smiley, <laughs> Stephanie's muddy. What's, yeah. what's happening? We don't really need other people, do we, Davey? No. You can man two wheelbarrows at once. <laughs> well, your efficiency has to do with unwrapping gifts. <laughs> 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 Everything is rotivated and now it's the exciting part. Now the plants are going to be placed in the pots just against all of the beds. We need to start with Stephanie. Um, no, that? don't plant me, Davy. Come no, on. It hasn't been that bad. You. We're going to plant geranium, Stephanie. Yes! <laughs> and then we have another plant and then next to that is going geranium, Philip. Oh! <laughs> They're both blue flowering. Yes. Uh, Stephanie's a little bit of a frillier uh, uh, leaf. Stephanie's got a much bigger leaf as well. Yeah. Philippe. Philippe Vapel. Vapel. Is the, is the excellent name. Yeah. Yes. So that's a Dutch variety, which yes. is ironic. Yes. Yeah, so uh, I have the Dutch. And Philip is a French variety. <laughs> You are so thoughtful, Davy. <laughs> I love the way you plan the garden. This is starting to look great. Did I understand correctly that you're planting something between Stephanie and Philip? <laughs> what kind yes. of cruelty is that? Well, I didn't want to split you up, <laughs> but they're both blue flowering. And if the blue isn't exactly the same and they also flower relatively the same period, mm. uh, then they, they can just clash. It, it can look awful and I don't want you to look awful next to each other. Well, people do say that Philip and I are a bit too similar at times, so well, it's the same thing. Same then, thing happening in the geranium yeah. world. So then we need to split you up. <laughs> <laughs> Big excitement over the other side of the lake. Can you see that? Is that a theodolite? I mean, if I'm honest, I'm not sure what a theodolite is, but say that's a theodolite. That's the surveyors doing the next survey that we need to put the lake back. So survey number one is underway. He has had two out of three visits over the course of three months. That's the ecological survey checking the frog. So he's just got to come back next month and that survey is finished. Survey number two is the topographical survey of the lake bed. And that is what is happening today. And once we have those two surveys, survey number three can take place. And then we can ask permission for the lake. So it's all happening here today. What exactly is happening? Kirsty, what happened? 
Did you do you need a hand? <laughs> Okay, so I'm not going to plant myself because it feels a little bit vainglorious. So I'm planting Philip. There you go, Philip. Oh, this is nice. This is real camaraderie, isn't it, Dan? It's reminiscent of the um, courtyard. It is, effort. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, we're just not wearing robes, so I feel like you've won this time. <laughs> Natty's not dressed as a Spice Girl either. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> This is coming on so beautifully. So next to the periwinkle, we've got a Dharmara totata, which is yes. again a large leafed forest plant. Not yet it isn't. No, 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 no. The first year it's not going to be very spectacular okay. because it needs to settle. Yes. Uh, but once it starts growing, the leaves can get oh, uh, quite lovely. large. Oh, lovely. And then um, we've got a pyrus, which is an actual shrub. The leaves, when they come out, are bright red. Oh, wow. So they've turned already... Uh, yes. to a green so they come all the way to here and we've got one spirea yes. just to make a little bit of a connection to the border in front because we've got a bigger clump of spirea over there okay and they will flower at the same time and then we've got a fern in, in, in front of that i love ferns very typical forest plant. yes um, and then this is not a perennial but this is actually a shrub but the, the, the actual um, branches of the shrub grow underground okay so it's a ground cover shrub it's a cornus canadiensis, uh, so it's a very delicate, actually. Some of them flower green, yes, and some of the flower white. Oh, yes. The weather's taken a turn for the better. It's now a shower and a workplace all in one, so we're multitasking. I like how you spun that. Thank you very much. Yeah. It's coming on though, isn't it? Really, yeah. Yeah. Isabel would be loving this. I think it's going to be a day for a hot bath later. Oh, and a cup of tea. Inside. Don't be ridiculous, Davy. We don't need to go in. It's good enough for the plants. It's good enough for the planters. Well, they won't need watering, so there's that. We've finished the entire area inside the first of the forest gardens. And now we are going to carry on on the other side of the hedge. It's stunning. You, it can, is, actually isn't see, it? you can even, like, walking, you can see the shape. That's all right. Seriously. That's going to be a stunning area. Is this the next lot moving into position? Uh -huh. Great. Have you got a lot of keen planters here? I'm going to ask you loads of questions right now. I can see you're just desperate to chat. <laughs> you're starting your favourite area, aren't you? Yeah. This is rhododendron bed. But underneath here is all different soil just for them. Yeah, Quite this is deep. the... It's like that, this deep. So we've prepared the bed for you. Okay, so you're supposed to enjoy yourselves. So Isabel's Hear at us? the front, apparently. Of course she is. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> so these are both Isabel. Yeah. And where's Percy going? These ones. Percy is pretty is spectacular. Um, I feel that Percy and Mummy got slightly more spectacular plants than me and Philip. Well... Just, you know, just, just putting that out there. I didn't name them. <laughs> Dan's not using a digger to dig. It's yeah, there's like... something weird about that spade. It's it doesn't not, feel right. It's not motorised. Did you put the petrol in? It feels very inefficient. <laughs> Do you mean to make the noise of the digger? <laughs> 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 Does that help? Do look at the pot size, Dan. I think the hole is twice too deep. No! Well, he's used to the digger. <laughs> You don't want to bury Percy. <laughs> <laughs> I like this division of labour, Dan. You dig your holes and you're planting. I think you do. Yeah, this, this is working for me. I wish I could film the smell. It oh, smells it's intense. So good. It's really good. I feel like I'm in a Turkish bath or something. I wish it felt as though we were in a Turkish bath. I wish we were in one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this is just pine chippings. Yeah, Spruce. so what Nick um, cleared the other day from the other side of the yeah. track, this is all from them. And they're acidic, so they're going on the rhododendrons exactly, and yeah. azaleas. I've been sent as tea waller. Good work, team. It's a pretty amazing you. day. You were right this morning when you said hashtag Team Lalande. Yeah. We can do it. We can. Well, we turned out we could do half of it. Yeah. <laughs> well, a fifth of it. <laughs> a bit of drat, but there's always tomorrow, hey, Davey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we up true. bright and early tomorrow. 
Yes. And back out, and I don't think it's supposed to rain tomorrow. No, and it'll be five degrees warmer. It's another day, a new day, and we're off to a terrible start because you didn't make me a cup of tea. Uh, Look at you out here having a cup of tea. I feel like yesterday was team, L hashtag team Lalande. And today's just... Today's just... Dan, just, do just back to yeah. normal. Just yeah. grumpy Dan <laughs> in a digger. Grumpy Dan on his own <laughs> doing stuff, yeah. yeah. And you and I just left out in the cold. Wow. I mean, actually, literally. <laughs> the promised sun has finally come out. Dan is there, clearing. And Davy and I have marked out the edge of the border, which is huge. I had no idea from the plan. I'm really glad that I bought that bionic extension for Dan's body, because if we had had to rent that every single time we've used a digger, we'd have paid for it twice already. Right, the tree trunk is about to be taken out of the way, because that tiny little bit of grass between the stick and the chapel is the entire width of the path that we'll have around the chapel once this border is finished. Just enough for two people to comfortably walk together or for scaffolding to go up. So we're going to start with the shrubs. We mean business. We know we mean business when Davy whips out his those soggy three plan. Circles, those three circles. The entire area has been rotivated. All of the edges are delineated so we know exactly where we're planting. But we're just going to put some of the plants in pots in the right place now and then go in for lunch and actually do the planting this afternoon. Okay, now. That's starting to like a garden, Davy. Well, it goes very quickly with the big ones. <laughs> Voila. And Cyril, can I introduce you to everyone? Because we have a new member oh. of the team, Cyril. Uh, the new uh, cooker uh, gardener. New cook gardener, which is yes. really exciting. Fantastic. And the lovely thing about having Cyril here is you always use everything from the garden. Um, no, the salad is from the garden. And every day that you've been here, we've had herbs from the garden, we've had chives, we've had salad. Every day since you arrived, yes. I've noticed. Wonderful. Yeah, that's yes. great. And also, it's amazing the food that we're having. So this is the salad that Cyril's made today. It's lettuce from the garden with a vinaigrette. And then there is a sauce made of yogurt, bacon, and pineapple juice. And there we are. Adding pineapple on top. It's almost like a Hawaiian pizza as a salad, which is amazing. And then bacon on top of this. You're very inventive, Cyril. I love it. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. My creativity. Great. On mange tous ensemble. Ouais, c'est super. J'aime ça. J'aime ça beaucoup. Et ça donne du courage à tout le monde pour oui. bien travailler l'après-midi. On peut discuter ce qu'on <laughs> fait dans le matin et après on peut discuter ce qu'on va faire dans l'après-midi. Yeah. Ah, c'est c'est vraiment bien, bien de ça. se retrouver à midi. Ça, ouais. Ouais. Tous ensemble. Ouais. And what is this, Cyril? This is a coli water risotto. Coli flour? Coli water risotto. I'm going to carry on with coli flour. <laughs> <laughs> Choufleur. Choufleur, cauliflower. Cauliflower. Yeah, the cauli water is a better, it's a much better word. With wow. uh, little confit tomatoes. Oh my goodness, so I thought the salad was lunch. I got, there's a whole of the there's a whole of the meal. Because wow! Uh, we have a warrior to confit. <laughs> so. Amory, that is beautiful presentation, thank you. That was an insanely delicious lunch and the sun is out. I've celebrated, the anorak is off, the necklace is on. I feel like you could accessorize more as well. Yeah. yeah. Give, me, give me the tools and I'll, whatever that phrase is. <laughs> <laughs> I have definitely got the long straw. Um, you got a short straw. Dan's I making feel, holes yeah. and I'm just planting things in I mean, them. I are you even doing your end of the bargain? I have planted a plant. I have planted this plant. This looks like a very, very happy plant. Oh, thank goodness you brought in more people. Honestly, you, we yeah, needed you more men. about the child labour earlier, so I thought... Yeah, no, yeah. we do need that. <laughs> right, should we show her how it's done properly? Oh, it's very heavy. really heavy. Is it? Do you know what Dan's been calling this garden at the moment, Davy? Nope. Decorating the Somme. <laughs> well, to be honest, it's his own damn fault. He's the one that ordered the soil. 
<laughs> yeah, let's blame Dan for yeah. everything. Yeah. It's the, the rain. I think a better name is the Japanese Mud Garden. <laughs> yeah, no, that's yeah. nice. It's got yeah, a ring to it. Charge money for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, well done. Oh, excellent. Good. Well, I think we can leave him to do this section alone now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh. That's not the first time someone has made that noise when moving on to the next plant today. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Is it really heavy? Yeah. Oh, wow. And the oh, Japanese mud garden oh, grows. Muddy. I'm just going to leave them here. Yeah, no, thanks for the child labour. It's actually really helpful. I mean, Jack's off somewhere playing with the other kids, but do you know what? I'm just going to leave him here. <laughs> It really is coming to shape. It is, yeah. It really is. I'm just seeing colour over here for the first time. Are you guys going to put like a, uh, a fence or something to stop people coming in to like trampling in or? No, but generally so far we haven't had a trampling based problem in the gardens here. Well, I don't know. If, if you've got, yeah, if you've <laughs> got. Jack will probably be like, oh, look, mummy, I picked you a flower and pulled the plant out. <laughs> Tea time, everyone, and the good news is we have eclairs. Yay! And goodness knows we need them. Thank you. Pardon, c'est un peu chaud. Merci beaucoup. J'espère que tu aimes le thé anglais avec du lait. Oh, yes, I, I do. <laughs> you do? Great. There's a garden bed service. That's the... <laughs> this is officially the first eclair I'm eating in this garden, but I hope it won't be the last. I'll be honest, Dan, I don't envy you the task you're doing now planting plants so small that you can't see them once you've planted planting them plantless plants yeah <laughs> you're basically just... just putting earth taking earth out of a hole and putting earth back in of a different color <laughs> the camera's shaking because i'm laughing there's a visual uh, leaf shoot there we no, go <laughs> it's a perennial it needs time to start growing <laughs> Spirits are starting to flag. We've planted over 600 plants and I think we're cracking up. I don't like it anymore. It was really fun at first. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> ecstatically fun, yeah. <laughs> then the music stopped. Yeah, the I speaker plant, ran out. I had to plant the plantless plants. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> it's looking so much better. A bit of colour. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, admittedly, it couldn't have looked worse. Yeah, but you can't make the omelette without breaking a few eggs. I had to break Dan, but I think it was worth it. Yeah. He, he's broken now. Yeah, yeah. yeah, totally worth it. Yeah. You have no idea how much we needed this right really? now. You've come at just the right <laughs> moment. Great. I think we're now 800 or 900 plants in. Wow. Yeah, and spirits really? were flagging, but... Listen, <sighs> let's do it this way. I will we'll give it five more minutes of heat for you and then I will cut some bread and then I'll bring it over. Oh, That's okay for thank you? you. Oh, it's a <laughs> thank it's you. Thank you. Wow. Okay, see you in some minutes. That is our bed and breakfast guest. We have the best bed and breakfast guests. How's morale? Oh, you've moved on to plants with leaves. Yeah, I, Visible. Thought, I'd, I thought I'd start planting plants, not just soil. <laughs> more, um, more gratifying. I've just done a big clump over there that they, they were barely plants. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's my clump. I just did that. That wasn't easy morale wise, I'll be honest. Oh. Please. That's crazy. Really, can I take yes, a piece? Absolutely. Please Thank go you. ahead and just. Oh, just, so uh, good. We're saved. Just... Daniel, we're saved. <laughs> no, it's come too late for Dan. <laughs> We've lost him. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he can't. I've gone. A word anymore. No, he can't show enthusiasm for anything anymore. I understand. I understand. Wow. This might help. Yeah, it will. Patrick is leading us somewhere. We don't know where. At the moment, he could he could lead us anywhere just by walking off with the meat. Yeah, we're leading you into the sun. Oh. There is a little bit of warmth and love. Some white wine. Thank you. And uh, some. Sandra made some homemade garlic bread. Oh my goodness. With fresh white thank bread. You. White, please. Thank yes, you. Please. I don't think I've ever felt such gratitude in my life. <laughs> it just doesn't get any better than this, does it? <laughs> really, really doesn't. <laughs> just nod, Dan. You don't even need to speak anymore. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you so much. Cheers. 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 I've got my speech back. <laughs> It's amazing what steak, garlic, bread and wine can do I for do a person. I do feel like 
it won't last very long. We should just seize this opportunity of me being a human. Okay, great. I'm getting back to my blob. That's the technical term for each different group of plants. And I have a blob that I need to plant right here. As the sun sets in La Land, this is a truly beautiful sight of happy, happy workers. Love life! <laughs> and... Plants! <laughs> this is it. We finished our clump. It's nearly eight o'clock at night. They've now both re-lost the power of speech. <laughs> and we're gonna come out tomorrow to carry on. Welcome to day three in the garden. I think today will be the last day and we're gonna get all of the plants in, finally. Good morning. Good morning. I think this is the first time it's been this way around. Me. I know, that's how excited I am. I know, I know. You've changed. <laughs> I don't like you. <laughs> I've been working on some of those Emperor's new plants that you were specialising in yesterday. I swear there's a plant there. So today's the exciting bit, isn't it? Yeah, let's get the bench in. And yes! The, yeah. Big excitement over here. Whilst Dan is moving the chippings for the area underneath the table, I am planting the last section of the entire border. This is it, we are nearly done. And there's even little flowers. And from here I have a great view of everything we've achieved. What a beautiful sight. And look, you're here just in time. Oh, the last one. The final plant. Ah, oh, heaven. And it's got a flower on it. Look at it, it's an amazing Ooh. final plant. There we go. Well I done. I declare this garden open. Actually, probably need Mummy to come and do that, don't we? <laughs> Mummy, you have to come back from South Africa and open the garden. But, Dan, I think what we need now is a table that we can have a glass of wine on. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Oh, peacock, yes. Yes, of yes. What else for the garden? It has to be peacock wine. This is the moment I've been waiting for ever since you first showed me the plan for this <laughs> area. Wine in the garden on the lovely little stone table with your scrambled eggs, because not just a gardener, are you? No, no. All round guy. Yeah. Man of mystery. Man of mystery. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't realise you're a man of mystery as well. And... Cyril made us guacamole to go with it, so life is sweet. I just want to show everyone how completely idyllic this looks now. <laughs> I mean, admittedly, the Philip geraniums are still a little bit on the small side. Stephanie's doing much better. Stephanie's looking very perky, actually. I love France, and I love you too, Aww. and I love living here, and I'm on a bit of a high. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Dan. For months you have been working on this and it's epic. Cheers. cheers. And cheers, Davy, to the genius mastermind behind it all. <laughs> cheers. Cheers. And cheers to all of you. I hope that you have enjoyed watching the transformation of the gardens as much as we have. It has been amazing here at Lalande. A huge thank you to my patrons. You've made this possible. It really is a dream come true. And to those of you who aren't patrons, thank you for helping by watching. If you want to do more to help, then it would be fantastic if you could like this video or subscribe to this channel. Everything really, really helps in the renovations of the chateau and garden. And I'd like to take this opportunity to pick out a few of my Dauphins and Dauphines to thank personally. Yadeland Ether, Alice Allen, Bill Ballard, Dan Bander, Wailing Banshee, Cecilia Begum, Denise Behrens, Amy Bennett and Jill Bidwell. I hope that you enjoy seeing the changes that you are making at La Land. Thank you so much to all of you. I will leave you with some of Dan's incredible drone footage of the new garden.